Greetings, Gravel fans. It's Mike Quackenbush here on Free Match Monday, and we are hot off the Tag World Grand Prix weekend. The replay of the event is already posted to Jakaratopia.com, so you can enjoy the entire tournament. But getting to the tournament was no small feat, as each of the eight tag teams had to qualify for competition in this year's tournament. Let's take a look at one of those qualifying bouts, pitting the members of Cyberhawks 2000 against the debuting Penelope Ford and Joey Janela. Sydney, I don't know if you were out here earlier when Director of Fun Bryce Remsburg was sat beside me, but he did outline this. The qualifying matches for the Tag World Grand Prix are outside of the point system. Points cannot be won or lost in this or any of the seven other qualifying matches. Which is a good rule. I mean, you know, you want to you want to go for the Tag World Grand Prix. You don't want to have to worry about your points. You want to put all of your focus on winning what's one of the most prestigious tournaments. Are you in favor of something Bryce Rems? Bryce Rensberg is my favorite director of fun, uh, the best director of fun we've ever had, uh -huh. and my pay went up. So, uh, yeah, I love Bryce Rensberg. But can we? I, I'm sorry, I can't take my eyes off of one of the competitors here. Joey Janela looks like a star. Indeed he does, and he has been making a name for himself all over the independent circuit. Just last night, he was on the West Coast competing for Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Had to catch the earliest flight back to make it here for National Pro Wrestling Day 2018. We're pleased to have all these new competitors joining us. The Beach Bums, Janelope, and one more who we'll be seeing later tonight. Competing for the Young Lions Cup. Some great chain wrestling down on the mat by both Janela and Silverhawk. Yeah, these Hawks are, they're so fun to watch. This is the future of Jakara right here. Guys like this, I remember coming up, there were the young Von Erichs, there were all these young guys, and they became stars, and that's what we're seeing right now with the Hawks. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're basically the internet age Von Erich family. Thank you very much for the <laughs> compliment. <laughs> Razor Hawk breaking down Joey Janela. He's got that hammerlock, and boy, he's riding high up into the shoulder blades with it. Yeah, Janela needs to get out of there. Somebody keeps twisting the hammerlock up like that. Eventually, your arm's just going to come off. Joey Janela, though, so smart, so good. Well, look at these quick tags, though. Very Ricky and Robert-like uh, tags by the Hawks. Ricky and Robert Von Erich. You heard it here first. Sidney Bacabella endorsing Cyberhawks 2000. These guys ran for public office. No. No, they don't have a lot of experience. Deribe by Silverhawk over the top, tumbles right back in. He ducked his head. Look at that bunny hop from the top. And Alita. Bless you. Look at Wind that. And him right up. He's got that left arm. Going to send him for the ride. Reversal in mid-ring. Janela. Oh, did you see that? The Cyberhawks tagged. Great tag. Whoa, he almost went up and over. And now it's Razorhawk who's up and over. Double drop kick on Joey Janela. Took him right over his kettle there. Joey, uh, Joey needs to he needs to make a tag here. I'm not good at this lucha stuff. Seduce them with your char. I don't doubt Penelope Ford is probably very charming. She's also a great dancer, is Penelope Ford, and a very talented professional wrestler. Now, as you may know, here at Chikara, it's equal rights and equal fights. Well, it's turning into a dance party. This used to happen a lot more often back in the day. Yeah, you know, there was a lot of times where uh, there was one guy here, you know, the great Larry Sweeney would dance all the time. And uh, let's just say that, you know, I, I'd rather dance with Penelope. Whoa! Jezebel! Whoa, take a look at the flexibility of Penelope Ford. Just set Razorhawk up so Joey Janela could mow him down. These two working in perfect tandem. Okay, and Joey Janela said earlier, I'm not good at this Lucha stuff. So, you know, he uh, he's going to go in there and he's going to do exactly what he knows how to do, which is fight dirt. Joey Janela throwing a closed fist there, and I don't think he's going to be able to get away with that for very long, given our senior official, Bryce Remsburg, is overseeing this all-important qualifying match. Sends a double uh, whip. Great use of the drop down. That is exactly how that move was originally intended. And the wrestlers train against that. Whoa! Terrific assist moonsault. Wow! I'm so impressed with Janelope. She just did a 360 off of his hands and landed right on one of the uh, Hawks. Yeah, that's uh, Razorhawk, right? You have figured it out. That is Razorhawk. 
Tag in the corner of Janelope. Now it's Joey Janela coming in. Stuck his fingers right through the eye ports in that screen on Razor Mask, or Razor Hawk's mask. Oh, it's look at this. It's very easy for you to say, but they are twins, so I can see how you get them confused. They, identical twins, yes. But look at this. Look at Penelope just choking away here. Good for her. Knife edge chop right across the chest of Razorhawk. They've done a good job taking the starch out of the high flyest member of the Cyberhawks. This kid, he's so good. He's going to be a huge star. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of watching because he does things that I can't do. So and I can do a lot of flips. A lot of flips. Oh, very, very close to the corner. Just got dropped with a spine buster like move. Left shoulder blade came up off the mat for the final and fatal three count to be registered by Bryce Remsburg. Joey Janela so good, he knew exactly where he was the entire time with his back turn. Picks him up, puts him in the, uh, puts him on the top turnbuckle. Joey and Penelope, they complement each other very well in the ring. Now, obviously these people have been briefed on our rule system. All of our guest stars always are before they go to the ring. Even the ones that do not speak English, if they pull the mask off of Razorhawk, they will be disqualified and they will lose that berth into the Tag World Grand Prix. Look at this, that's a feisty broad right there, jumping up there trying to Good rip off the mask. Grief. It's 2018. Razorhawk, oh wow, Whoa. she went right through that. Yeah. Terrific follow up there. The divorce court, as you may know, it divorces the arm from the body. I love that TV show every day, the divorce court. Two. Only two, though. The right shoulder is the one that came up this time. Joey Janela not wasting any time. He gets rid of Silverhawk off the apron. They want to continue to isolate Razorhawk, the smaller member. You know, a lot of times when you have a, uh, a mixed tag team like this um, that are guests here at Chikara, they uh, you see the guy a lot of times maybe uh, working a little harder to uh, you know protect his partner a little bit. Not the case with Janela P, but there's a big mistake. Got them all hooked up. She goes right off of Joey there and planted Razorhawk. He spiked on his forehead. This could be it, Sydney. Cover. Very, very close. She went up and around for a great looking Tornado DDT using her partner as a pedestal. You know, nothing wrong with using your partner, using them offensive, defensive. There's so much you could do in a tag match, and these two get it. You know, there are a lot of wrestling leagues out there, of course, where the guys and the girls are separated by a gender division, but there is no gender division here at Shikara. We believe in equal rights and equal fights. All competitors are equal, and between bells, there are no genders as far as we're concerned. Razorhawk now, got a, you can see he created enough separation so he could breathe. That's all you gotta do sometimes in a chin lock or sleep roll, find room for one breath. Very, very smart wrestling there. And going to your point about equal rights, equal fights, Chikara, we had a woman as our grand champion, and that is huge. It breaks down barriers. Mm -hmm. She was royalty, as a matter of fact. Princess Kimberly, oh, now under Icarus. the pseudonym of Abby Leith down at NXT. One of many Chikara alum making us proud on a very big stage. Joey Janela just went out of the ring. Oh, I thought he landed on his face, Sydney. Look at that. Huge tope con Hilo wipes out Joey Janela. But here comes Silverhawk to follow up. Wow. Stringing them together, one after the other. Tope con Hilo, and then a suicide dive. The action fast and furious all over the Wrestle Factory. Cyberhawk's finally getting things going their way. Silverhawk is legal. Cabradura, the Mexican 360 backbreaker. He's calling for his partner. I don't know how Razor could have recovered. Falcon Arrow, he gave it his very best. But man, they took a lot out of him. Yeah, there was a lot there. Penelope Ford right in there to break up that uh, that cover here. Things I, are breaking down. I think this was a mistake to bring Razorhawk back into the ring this soon. He took quite a beating. Oh, he really did. Razorhawk needs to tag out. Get out and bring in the fresher Silverhawk. This is what they need to be doing here. You can't afford another mental error when you're in there with a team as polished as these two are. So the Razorhawk's still doing offensive maneuvers. I don't know how this kid's finding the energy to do it. Oh, they waited just too long. Big mistake there. Big Take slam off the top rope to follow. Silverhawk is out on the apron here. He has broken the plane of the bottom rope. So really, it's anybody's game here. Oh, look at this. Scooping him up there out in dangerous territory. Silverhawk's trying to fight his way out. 
Penelope from the top. Well, a Death Valley driver happens at the exact same time on the apron. The Cyberhawks are in a bad, bad way. This is very, very, this is a big moment for Janelope right now. They need to capitalize, but they've had a lot taken out of both of them. Janelope here, the chance to be entered into the Tag World Grand Prix, scheduled to start here at the Wrestle Factory at 3 o'clock p.m. on April 14th. And it would really be something because in that tournament, points are in play. In one afternoon, Penelope and Joey could win enough points to challenge those ice creams for the titles, or whoever has the titles at that time. Oh, that would be huge. Could you imagine Janelope as the, uh, as the Campeonatos de Parejas? Woo! What a great kick from Silverhawk. She's got a crucifix hook, but does she have the leverage to make it work? I don't know that she does. Well, Joey Janela just fell on the face of Silverhawk. Oh, he just double stomped his face. That's one way to make a crucifix turnover. If Razorhawk wasn't there, this match is over and Janelope's going to the Tag World Grand Prix. I don't know how Silverhawk's gonna recover from that. I don't know how any wrestler would from having their face double stomped into the mat. Oh, he missed on that huge moonsault press. Oh, a big kick there by Silverhawk. How is he doing it? These two kids, they're show Every night out I see them, they show me something. Tag Team Splash. No, oh, Penelope at the last second interrupting the count. She really saved that one for Joey. She really did this one here. This means a lot to both teams right now. The, the, the Hawks for the obvious reasons, but Janelope for a whole different reason. Up top, Silverhawk came down on the knees of Joey Janela, but no, the Swanton Bomb did not find the mark. Janela had the presence of mind to get out of Dodge, and now he's beckoning for Penelope to head to the top. They're looking for their move, the Janelope device. Uh-oh. Oh, they nailed it, turned him inside out, shoulders are down. It's a count of three, Janelope go to the Tag World Grand Prix. Can't say I saw that one coming, Mr. Bacabella. I would have thought the Cyberhawks 2000 were a shoe-in for the Tag World Grand Prix, but they came up across a solid tag team that complement each other very, very well. And boy, did Janela become the play.